Welcome everyone. In tutorial 11, we had a preview of serial communication when the formatted string over URAT instruction was used for the serial LCD. We will look at the other available serial communication instructions in LD Micro and wrap up to this tutorial with HC05 Bluetooth serial communication model. But first, like, subscribe, and share. There are three available serial communication protocols in LD Micro. They are URAT, I2C, and SPI. This tutorial is focused on URAT serial communication. URAT stands for Universal Asynchronous Receive Transmit. It is built into most microcontrollers. The protocol is used for transmitting and receiving data between serial devices. Transmission distance can get up to 1 km with additional components. Arduino boards use the URATs for communication with your computer and are tied to pins 1 and 2 of the Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano uses pin 1 labeled as TX to send out data and pin 2 labeled as RX to receive data. Two Nanos can communicate with each other when the TX pin is connected to the RX pin and the RX pin is connected to the TX pin of the other nano. This communication mode is called full duplex because of its two-way simultaneous communication. The communication distance between the two nanos can be extended by external hardware components like the RX485 converter and wirelessly with the HC05 Bluetooth model. The formatted string over URAT instruction was dealt with in tutorial 11. The URAT receive instruction receives a single character and stores it in the assigned variable when the input condition is true. When a character is received, the output of the instruction becomes true for a single PLC cycle, otherwise it will become false. The URAT send instruction transmits a single character previously stored in a variable when its input condition is true. Its output will be true when a character is being transmitted and false when the transmission is complete. Because of the time that is required for transmitting and receiving a character, URAT send is ready to send instruction is used to check when to transmit again. The URAT receive is data available instruction can be used as a condition when there are unread data in the receive buffer. Let us set up a connection between two nanos with the circuit diagram as shown. They both have a push button switch connected to pin D2 and a LED connected to pin D3. The communication ports of each nano are connected as shown. TX from one nano to RX of the other nano. Now let's adopt an example from tutorial 9 where a push button switch triggers four different actions of a LED. In LD Micro, insert two cyclic timers in the first two rooms, each with an internal relay coil and with durations of 250 milliseconds for fast blinking and 500 milliseconds for slow blinking respectively. A contact that activates a circular counter with a maximum value of 3. Then, insert 4 compare for equal instructions with equal values of 0, 1, 2, and 3, in line with the 4 move instructions with their destination values as send, and the source values as capital O, capital A, capital B, and capital C. Next, insert a URAT send instruction from the URAT functions options of the instruction menu in another room with the source variable of send. This instruction transmits earlier stored characters in the send variable by the move instructions. Then a URAT receive instruction from the same URAT functions option with the destination variable of data. Insert for compare for equal instructions in line with for move instructions after the URAT receive instruction as shown. The data variable stores the received URAT data, which is then compared to determine the required state of the LED. 
The three other compare for equal instructions in the last row selectively triggers the LED based on the received instruction from the other nano. Then compile at mail AVROGCC. Don't forget to change true to 1 in your program.c file before you build C solution. Before you click on call flash MCU, disconnect the TX and the RX jumper wires from the breadboard to allow the upload of the code into your Arduino Nano. Upload the same code into the other Nano. Then reconnect the TX and the RX jumper wires. Observe that when the push button switch in any of the Nanos is pressed once, the LED in the other Nano is turned on. When it is pressed again, the LED blinks slow. Another press will cause the LED to blink fast. A final press of the push button switch turns off the LED. The same response will be gotten when the push button switch in the other nano is pressed. Two HC05 Bluetooth modules can replace the jumper wires between the nanos when configured as master and slave pair. The HC05 Bluetooth modules are equipped with URAT serial communication capability in full duplex mode. It ships with a default name of HC05, password of 1234 or 0000, slave data mode, a data board rate of 9600 and AT command board rate of 38400. It has a push button switch that is used to get into command mode and a LED for status indication. Serial terminal software is required for the configuration of the Bluetooth models. A serial communication terminal that worked for me is the cool term. It can be downloaded from the link in the description below. You will also need a USB to TTL converter for the configuration. Connect the 5 volt red wire of the USB to TTL converter to the VCC pin of the HC05 model. Connect the GND black wire to the model GND. Connect the RX white wire to the model TXD pin. And the TX green wire to the model RXD pin. Hold down the push button switch of the HC05 model and plug the USB to TTL converter to the USB port of your computer. Then release the switch. The LED on the model will start blinking slowly. This is an indication that the HC05 model is now in AT command mode. The USB to TTL converter uses the same CH340 device driver as my Nano as shown in tutorial 6. Then extract the content of the downloaded QTEM file and double click on the application icon. Click on the option button from the tools bar. Ensure that the correct port is selected. Select a board rate of 38400. Click on the terminal option by the left. Ensure that CRO plus LF is selected. Select Local Echo and click OK. Click on the Connect button to establish communication with the Bluetooth model. Type AT and press Enter to verify the communication. An OK response provides confirmation. The command AT plus name question mark displays the name of the model. Rename the model with AT plus name equals slave. AT plus PSWD question mark displays the current password. Use AT plus PSWD123 to change the password if required. AT plus row question mark displays either 0, 1, or 2, where 0 is for slave, 1 is for master, and 2 is loop back. Set the model as slave with AT plus row equals 0 if it is not already a slave. The models by default are slave models. 
A T plus C mode question mark displays the connection mode, where zero indicates pairing with a specific model, and one is pairing with any model. Set the mode as A T plus C mode equals zero to ensure the security of your device. Type A T plus A D D R question mark to retrieve the hardware address of the model. Note it down as it will be required to configure the master model. Now, connect the master model as we did for the slave model. Rename it with AT plus name equal master. Ensure the password is the same as the slave with AT plus PSWD question mark. Set the role as master with AT plus role equal one. This resets the model, so I had to get into AT command mode again. Set the connection mode with AT plus C mode equals zero. Type AT plus bind equal. Type in here the hardware address of the slave model, replacing the columns with commas. This ensures that the master and slave are only paired with each other. Other commands that you can use are AT plus reset to reset the model. AT plus OROGL to restore factory settings and AT plus ROMAAD to clear previously paired connections. This configuration can also be done with your Arduino Nano and Arduino IDE Terminal. YouTube has a lot of video for that. Now, insert the configured master and slave HC05 models beside each nanos on the breadboard. Connect their VCC and GND pins to the positive and negative power rails respectively. This is to maintain the required voltage level for the Bluetooth model pin. Observe that when the circuit is powered up, the master and the slave models were initially blinking rapidly in discovery mode. Then they start blinking twice in about 2 seconds when they are paired. Repeat the earlier test of pushing the switches and observe the same result as with the jumper wire connection between the nanos. We can set up the HC05 model for communication with a mobile phone. But first, set the slave model to pair with any device with AT plus C mode equals zero command in the serial terminal and reconnect it to the associated nano. In the previous LD micro program, delete rungs 3 and 4. Modify the new rungs 3 and 4 as shown. These move instructions are added to provide feedback to your mobile phone. These arrow send coils initiate the transmission of the feedback data. As before, disconnect TX and RX jumper wires before uploading the code into the nano. Observe that the LED in the model is blinking fast to indicate it is in discovery mode. To pair the Bluetooth model with your phone, Search for slave in the Bluetooth settings of your mobile phone and pair with a password of 1234 or 0000, as the case may be. In Play Store, search for Serial Bluetooth Terminal. Install and open the app. At the top right of the app, touch the three horizontal lines and search for slave to connect to the Bluetooth model. The model LED will start blinking slowly to indicate successful pairing with the phone. Type capital letter A to turn on the LED. Sending capital letter B will cause the LED to blink slow. Capital letter C blinks the LED fast. Finally, capital letter O turns off the LED. The feedback response of small letters of A, B, C and O were received to confirm the two-way communication. You can also modify the M buttons to operate the LED by holding it down to display the edit macro screen. With this, I am sure you can integrate Bluetooth wireless control into any project. You can also develop a custom application with the MIT App Inventor. Please click on the like button and share your thoughts on this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of new videos. See you in our next tutorial.